I like to call rolling the booger. It looks like this, just between our index. Hi guys, this is August and welcome to growing a manly beard. <laughs> Don't say anything. But really, welcome to the tutorial for Around the Pomegranate by Wilbert Skilpert. Now, a little disclaimer. If you look on the internet, it's going to be in a weird tuning. But what we're going to do is we're going to be bad people. We're going to play it in E standard. Now, the nice thing about Welpy Skelpy is that he doesn't have a million chords. In fact, in the verse, there's only two chords. A minor add nine. And C major seven. Now the strumming pattern for the verse is also going to be applied for the chorus also. It's down, down, up, down, up. Now you might be tempted to play it like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. But the beginning comes a lot sooner right after the end. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, all right? Now a little fun fact, I like playing without a guitar pick. And the technique I use for strumming with my fingers, I like to call rolling the booger. It looks like this, just between our index and our thumb. Why is it like that? Well, I'm using my index nail to go down, but also my thumb is following it, not hitting the string, so that it can do the up with its nail when an up strum is needed. There's a lot of movement that we can get out of just our fingers alone, rather than needing to utilize our wrists all the time or our elbow movement. Look how much I can get without using my wrist or my elbow, or limited movement. So we've got the verse chords. I'm gonna trust that you can fill in the blanks by listening to it. How long do I have to play this chord, that chord? And notice the last time they play the A minor add nine and the C major seven, they kind of shorten the time in playing the chords. Now the chorus chords have this weird G minor. Now I wanna show you what I'm doing with my ring finger cause it's gonna apply later with another chord I'm doing. So instead of having a ring finger tippy toe on that third fret, I'm actually gonna lay it a little bit on the flatter side because when I strum, then I want that A string to be muted. So really it's gonna be third fret, E, muted, open, third fret with our pinky on the G string. We'll see this technique later. And then it goes to that A minor add nine, you don't have to lift your pinky, just slide it up two frets. And now keep your pinky there and form a power chord around it. And after that, we have what we call like a G over B, minus the five, whatever. Essentially, it's just gonna look like the A and the G string go down a fret. So on the G string, we have to replace our pinky with our middle. All right, for the bridge, we got four chords. We got a G major, an A, something sus two or something or whatever who cares and then we're going to that c power chord and that g over b whatever we're calling it now for this g major i'm doing that same technique where i have kind of a little bit more of the flat side of my ring finger on the low e but then it's also muting that a string and then i'm just letting the d and g and b string ring open now, fun fact, also, uh, I don't necessarily really want that high E. The back of my ring finger is also muting that. Anyways, fun fact. Is that fun fact? It's so fun, right? <laughs> oh yeah, for this ASUS2 whatever, I'm using a wrap around little uh, muting technique with my thumb so I don't get that low E ringing out. That's the gist of Around the Pramanaud. Pragalac. I think I need a nap. What song would you like to see next so I can slave over it for you? 